Welcome to A-Level and AP Physics. In today's lesson, we will discuss past paper questions from March 2024, paper 4, variant 2. As always we do, we will discuss these questions in detail so you can improve your conceptual understanding of physics and also you can have better understanding of these exam questions. Let's study together. Let's improve together. Question 5, part A says, an object travels in a circle at constant speed. State the names of two quantities that vary during the motion of the object vary during the motion of the object so in this case it is given to us speed is constant so how about velocity direction of velocity velocity is a vector quantity it has direction velocity is vector quantity it has direction so when the object is at this point its direction of velocity is this way so this is direction of velocity when the object is here direction of velocity is this way when object is here, direction of velocity is this way. So you can also say at this point, it is pointing to the right. So direction of velocity changing. So it means velocity is changing. So we can say one quantity that is changing is velocity. Now we can also think about momentum of this object. Momentum. Momentum. Momentum is equal to m times v we can also say momentum p this is equal to m times v v is a vector momentum is also a vector momentum and velocity they have same direction these two quantities they have same direction as in this case direction of velocity is changing it means direction of momentum is also changing so momentum is also changing so we can write down the second quantity that is momentum so momentum keeps on changing during this motion we can also talk about angular displacement so here we have angular displacement so here you can say angular displacement angular displacement of this object also keeps on changing because its magnitude keeps on changing so you can also say angular displacement you can also talk about the force because when object is at this point direction of resultant force on this object is this way so this is direction of force when object is here direction of force is down so we can say direction of force is in this way direction of force is in this direction at this point direction of force is upwards so force is also changing resultant force mean the centripetal force in this case also keep on changing so if you write on these two quantities you will get two marks part b says a charged particle of mass m and with charge q enters a region of uniform magnetic field perpendicular to the field lines the magnetic flux density is p it's very important perpendicular to the magnetic field lines if perpendicular it means that it will only do circular motion if not perpendicular so the path of particle will be helical path so this is very important one when you read question you need to understand is the particle entering the magnetic field is perpendicular to the magnetic field or not it is also given to us the particles travels in a circle with period capital t mean time period is equal to capital t and radius is r by considering the magnetic force acting on the particle so this is kind of hint for you magnetic force acting on the particle so we can sketch first of all so simply you can imagine you need to visualize this one so we can simply imagine this one is magnetic field in this case particle is moving along this line now simply you can say the charge is not given to us means the sign of the charge is not given so simply we can imagine this is particle charge particle as this particle will enter this magnetic field this will do circular motion and radius of this circle is given that is equal to r so now we need to understand why this particle is moving in a circle because in this case centripetal force is provided by magnetic force so we can start with this one in this case magnetic force is providing the centripetal force and magnetic force is q v p and centripetal force is m v square divided by r 
so from here we can cancel this v with this one so we left with v is equal to r q b and this is divided by m but this is not the answer we can also rearrange this one we can say b in this case will be equal to m v divided by r times q but this is not the answer so in the answer if you look in at the answer v is not in the answer so we can write down v in terms of other quantities v is the orbital velocity mean the time orbital velocity of this particle and that one will be equal to the total distance traveled by this particle in one circle divided by time taken so v is equal to 2 pi r over capital t because we need time period in our answer so that's the reason we have to use v is equal to 2 pi r divided by t now we can simply replace v with this so we have here m we have 2 pi r and this is divided by q times r q times r so this r we can cancel with this r we also have t here so this is the t I mean this t here now if you look at this one so we got simply 2 pi m this is divided by q times t so this is how you need to approach the problems everything is given to you you need to understand how to proceed in a very systematic way so this is our final answer question was asking us to show that b is equal to this one so this is our final answer second part says the particle is an alpha particle the period of the circular motion is 2.5 microseconds calculate p we have already equation for p so first of all we can write on b this is equal to 2 pi m divided by q times t so in this case 2 pi this is constant so we need mass of alpha particle and mass of alpha particle this is equal to 4u 4u means that this is 4 times 1.66 times 10 to minus 27 kgs 1u is equal to 1.66 times 10 to minus 27 kgs and the charge on alpha particle is equal to 1.60 times 10 to minus 19 but this is equal to 2 times of the charge on single electron so we have to multiply this one by 2 now simply we need to plug in values here we have 4 times 1.66 times 10 to minus 27 kgs divided by the charge on alpha particle that is 2 times 1.66 1.60 times 10 to minus 19 multiplied by time period that is 2.5 microseconds 10 to minus 6 now if we simplify in this case we will get value of p that is equal to 0 0.052 teslas so this is our final answer so this is how you need to approach third part says a second alpha particle is in the same uniform field it travels in a circle of radius 2r state and explain how the periods of the motion of two particles compare so in this case we have two alpha particles they are in the same magnetic field same alpha particle means same as same charge and same value of b because they are in the same magnetic field now if you look at this equation we have already derived in the last part and if we rearrange this one we can say t will be equal to 2 pi m divided by q times b in this case q is the same b is the same m is the same so it means time period for these two particles is also the same this is straightforward way to answer this question now let's try to understand this one in a better way so you can clear your concept so imagine that this is one circle one alpha particle is moving in this one and second alpha particle is moving in this circle radius is two times so this radius is two times so simply we can draw like this so the first alpha particle has radius r is moving in this one then second alpha particle is moving in this circle and this radius is 2r now if we start in this case magnetic force is providing the centripetal force so we can start from here magnetic force 
is providing the centripetal force and magnetic force is QVB this is equal to MV square divided by R so in this case this V we can cancel with this V so we left with V that will be equal to QB times R divided by M so in this case M is the same Q is the same B is the same so if R is double how about the speed speed also will be double as the speed is double now we can write on v means the orbital speed this is equal to 2 pi r divided by capital t so if this increase this also increase so it means this in remains same this increases by two times this also increases by two times it means time period is independent of r so this is the point you need to understand i hope this makes sense now let me show you how you can write on the answer you have to write on simply two points first of all you have to state means you have to state very important one you have to state same so that when examiner will mark your paper examiner will see that have you stated or not you will get marked for that and second you have to explain explain so if you have written t is independent of r you will get one mark for this question part 4 says the speed of the alpha particle in b2 is 1.1 times 10 to 6 meters per second an electric field is applied so that this particle now moves with constant velocity use your answers in b2 to calculate the electric field e give the unit with your answer so it's very important one constant velocity because many students they will be struggling with this one how to answer this question constant velocity is given to you so what is meaning of constant velocity it means direction of motion is constant and magnitude of velocity is also constant means speed is also constant so what kind of motion we can expect if velocity is constant it means particle is just moving in a straight line particle is moving in a straight line so first of all just imagine that we have magnetic field so this is representing magnetic field into the page if no electric field particle will do circular motion as we have discussed in the previous part but in this case it is given to us this particle just go in a straight line because its velocity is constant and this is only possible because in this case the magnetic force on the particle if it is only in the magnetic field force on the particle will be in upward direction now in this case particle is moving with constant velocity it means that this force is balanced by electric force so the force if this particle is positive force electric force on this one has to be down it means this side this plate this one is positive and we can attach one plate here this plate is negative so electric field is pointing in downward direction so we can draw some electric field lines here so these are representing electric field lines so this is what is happening and this is simply velocity selected so in this case simply you can say magnetic force is balanced by electric force and magnetic force is qvb and electric force is e times q we need to find out value of e so this q will be cancelled with this q so we left with e that is equal to v times p and value of v is given that is equal to 1.1 times 10 to 6 and value of b we have found in the last part that was equal to 0 0.052 now if we solve this one we will get 5.7 times 10 to 4 units newtons per coulomb so this is our final answer 5.7 times 10 to 4 and the unit is newtons per coulomb and this is the answer and that's all for today's video i hope this video was helpful i have a little bit problem with my throat so i tried my best to explain to you in a very simple way and also try to explain you in detail so you can improve your understanding of physics not just memorize if this video was helpful please like and subscribe and also share with your friends and more videos are coming soon and if you need extra help you can also join patreon on patreon you will find more resources see you in next video